I'm, I, I wouldn't have the death penalty. I don't see, I don't see wasting another dollar on him. He, he don't, he doesn't care. He only made that statement so, because we had to go to federal next. He could, I don't feel that he cared, he could care less about what he did. I, I don't feel it at all. And that's what I want. I want the death penalty. I know I'm like a lot of my family now want them to be in jail for two or 300 years. I think that's a waste of money. But I'm never going to change that out. He deserves the death penalty. If anybody deserves the death penalty, when you got innocent people, and I said this before and I'm going to say it again, he shot my sister in the head twice. And uh, the death penalty is the only thing I want. And I'm always going to say that. What's next for the families? I mean, after uh, this sentencing, is there something else you want to pursue? Well, we already, Cat had, Cat was involved in a, a whole lot of different um, neighborhood things uh, to children, the homeless shelter around there. We still taking stuff around there, Cat would do. Um, I'm gonna get involved they, they, with the uh, homeless shelter. It's the 23rd, the 23rd, 27th is gonna be my first meeting trying to find a solution, how to help them. Because they're human beings and they're out there on the streets. So that's a big one for me. And uh, we only can do it little by little. There's no way, no way I can walk a mile in cat shoes whatsoever. So I'm just gonna take little steps, baby steps, and whatever I can do, I'm gonna continue to do to, in Cat's name because Cat did so much. We, we, we just, we only can do little by little for Cat. And we'll continue to, she loved her cat. One of the cat biggest things too was keeping the street up. And we took on seven or eight city block, uh, um, what are they pumpkin? Seven or eight uh, cities fields. We've been taking care of those for the last 20 years. Cat loved that stuff. Taking care of the city trees, buying the mulch for city property. We, we did all of that. Cat wouldn't allow us to get anything, we had to buy it ourselves. And that's what she was proud of, and that's what I continue to do, and I've been doing it since I was 19. So, stuff like that, I know Cat likes, she loved to see beauty, she loved trees. And I, I literally just planted three trees on the street for Cat, uh, I think it was the end of November. I put out uh, three um, uh, weeping willows. And I just we just buy our own stuff, and that's what Cat would do. And I'm just I'm doing the things I know my sister would like. I can't do everything Cat did because I'm not Cat, you know. She just did so much, but so you want to carry on her legacy? Yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, no sure. question. We will we will continue sure. to do that for sure. Yeah. How did, how did you feel today when he spoke in the courtroom? What went through your mind? When Are you going to keep it down there? You going to cut it out? You keep it on, I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna swear. You say what you want. I wanted That's to choke him until my fingerprint left a mark around his neck. That's what I wanted. From the bottom of my heart. I have not felt this good since 514, since I could spoke speak to him. Because what he did to all the all the family members and the people that work inside, the police officers that had to go in there. Even when the police officer we said heard say, I can't go back in there. I saw the people on the ground that day, uh, I was there eight hours. And I was told a story about my nephew. He's a glazer, he's a union glazer. So they didn't send Darrell to, to Tops, but they sent one of his workers. He couldn't go back to work, it was so horrific. So all that devastation he did, he needs to go. You know, and there's so many people still suffering from what he did, like this young lady. I didn't know she worked in God bless her heart. I can only imagine what you saw. I'm just hoping, praying, Kat didn't see none of it. Because she couldn't run. She had um, uh, bone, uh, Kat had, uh, what was bone, bone, bone loss. loss, bone loss. She could walk and stuff, but she couldn't walk fast. She paid attention where she walked, but it didn't stop her. She still did what she did, and she had rheumatoid arthritis didn't stop her. She still wrote beautiful. She still wrote, wrote in the paper. She still went to school with the kids. She still, she did cat, you know? So that's a hard one. Um, we will carry on because she wrote that in a letter to us too. She wrote us a letter before she passed to tell us what she wanted us to do. 
And uh, we'll do what she asks. She wants us to continue to be together. We, that's never going to stop. She wants my brother and I to continue to have our coffee every day. We still have our coffee every day. She don't want me to wimp out meaning when she said wimp. I'm not a wimp. She meaning that she wants me to stand strong. She don't want me to fall apart, and I'm not. But um, we're going to do what we always done. We, we love each other. We stick together. We're there for each other. It's just different because Cat ain't there, you know? People ask my cousin, well, how how you guys doing? She said, we're still living, but our hearts don't beat the same. And that's going to be for a long time, you know? Barbara, I wanted to ask. Mm -hmm. sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. We appreciate it. It, it comes and goes. Yeah. Uh, so we were in the courtroom and we saw, I guess, a relative. Of my son? Your son, yeah. yeah. And, and then the DA said that he wasn't going to charge. But yeah. Like, just watching that, it, it shook us all up. Well, let me, let me, let me explain. Demo the, the is the oldest nephew. He's my son. And the nephews are so close to Cat. He's the one that called Cat Triple Black. And the reason why he called her Triple Black because she was so proud of her heritage. And they still crushed. And I was telling them today, Demo made his garage into like a man cave. You know, they got the pool table, the dart set. And when you walk in, first thing you see is Cat picture. And he put a glove on her hand because Cat wore a glove. So it's raw. And he wouldn't have went up there if it wasn't for me. He saw me emotional and I'm his mom. Mom's hurt. I'm going to attack my mother. And that's what they're on. Because you didn't see my other nephew. They had him against the wall. Because Cat is everything. They don't, the people don't understand. We are close. This is not make-believe. I saw Kat four times a day. We talked on the phone. Kat might call me at five in the morning because she had a thought for the day. We did that.